How do you guys? It's Luke at Luke's Affordable Paint Service coming at you with another how to paint desert terrain video. Uh, what this is going to be, it's going to be on painting like rock formations, so it's like a hill. Um, the problem I've always had with painting desert terrain is I can get the sand alright, or I can get the rocks alright. Getting them both together was a problem. It was either too close or too far away and it didn't look like the sand had come from the rocks and I had all sorts of problems. Um, but now I think I've got, I wouldn't say amazing, but it's a reasonable look, uh, great for a wargaming table and it's really simple to do. Um, it just takes all that sort of guesswork out of it. So that's why I'm doing the video guys. All right, so what I'll do is I'll get set up. Um, I'm doing about three hills at the same time. So if it's a different hill each time, do apologize. So I'm, I'm working through all the terrain for Bears of War, which is creeping up so quickly. <laughs> so I'll, uh, I'll get set up guys, catch you a bit. All right guys, so this is uh, one of the three hills I'm gonna be working on, okay? Uh, so as you can see, uh, it's all already one color. Uh, now the reason for that is I've sprayed it with army painting desert sand, uh, army issue sorry, uh, desert sand, it's a quid from my pound shop, uh, it's very close to the colour that I base coat with anyway, I just bought it just to speed the process up rather than airbrushing everything, um, so I've got two cans of that and it's done everything and there's loads left. So. That's what I've done. So if you're not, if you haven't got a spray can of that, just base coat it in the base sand colour which I use in the um, obstacles video. Okay. If you want to know how to make cork bark hills, um, I've got a video on uh, going the extra mile. I think I've called them. Uh, but if you have a look through, you'll see like a a hill made out of cork, and just click on that one, guys. Okay. Also, there's all the people like Mel, the train shooter and stuff that's done them as well. This, it's so easy to do, just cut it and stick it down and then put some foam in. <laughs> it's such easy though. Right, so what I'm going to do next guys, I'm going to paint this rock face, okay? Now I'm going to paint it like a brownie colour, alright? So what I'll do is I'll get the brown paint out and then I'll, I'll base coat it over. So I'll catch you in a sec. Right guys, the colour that I'm using is called Nutmeg Spice from uh, uh, Wilkinson's, okay? It's like a... I don't know, a chocolate brown, I'd say. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint this all over the rock face. Okay, just make sure I get it everywhere. What I'll do, guys, is I'll just uh, paint this all over, and then I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Uh, as well, all the stones and everything on top, I'll dry brush with this as well. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Catch you in a sec. Right, now, when you've got that all over, don't worry about it being a little bit patchy in areas if you've not got a solid base coat. It doesn't matter. It all adds to a natural look of a rock anyway. Because um, what we're going to do next is we're now going to put a wash over the whole model. Now, I wouldn't advise using uh, Agrax Oak Shade or actual model shop uh, washers for this. I'd make your own. Uh, all this is is pledge for floor wax, some brown and black paint and a drop of, as well, ink, sorry, and then a, a bit of black paint. Um, just to darken it up. Okay, now all you've got to do with this is just paint this all over the model. Okay guys, and this will really deepen and you know add all the shadows and everything to the rocks and help get different bits of different colours and shades in there. So what I'll do guys is I'll get all this done and I mean, when I say do this all over, I mean all over the sand everywhere, okay? I didn't literally get it all over the entire model, okay? So I'll get that done, and then once we've washed it, uh, we'll come back to the next step. Right guys, next step, while that's still wet, uh, what I'll do is I'll mix up some, uh, some like ready brown wash, okay? So what I use is I use the Pledge Floor Wax, okay? As you can see, it's like a cream colour. Uh, that's the stuff you're looking for, okay, pledge polish, and then uh, I use some, uh, like a reddy brown colour, this is a textile colour called Indian, Indian Red from uh, Vallejo, um, it's just what I've got, bought it by mistake actually, um, and then all you do guys, put a couple of squirts in there, and then mix this up. This pledge floor wax, guys, does dry clear. So it does change the colour of the paint. So allow for that uh, when you're applying it. Okay. So it'll look like a pinky colour at the minute, but when it dries, it goes a more deeper browny red. All right. So just mix that up so you get no more granules in it. 
or grains or whatever people like to call them. And then literally get your brush, the one straight out of your brown wash, don't matter that you mix them a bit, get plenty on your brush and then just drop some red areas on like this. And what you're getting is you're getting some like different colour in your uh, in your stone like this it does take a while to dry guys uh, but once you've done this best thing to do is leave it overnight if, if i were you um, but you just literally apply that just to the rock face areas you don't have to do this step i just like it because it adds a bit of color and just some difference to the actual model itself all right so when that's dry we'll come back to doing like the final dry brushes uh, and i'll catch you in a sec Right, now that's dry, you can see that you've got so I don't know whether it shows up on camera that well, uh, but you can actually see like the ready areas. It's just a different darker patch, that's all, um, which will make makes a difference in the end. But what you need to do now is you need to get the base colour again. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to give this like a light dry brush, only a light one of the base colour, uh, which will do like a mid light. Okay, so get it off. And then literally we're just going to dry brush all over the model. You might not even be able to see much on camera with this one. Because it is such a subtle difference. Okay, so I'll get this done. Now the next one I use is like a really light cream. Uh, this one's called Coastline from Wilkinson's. Um, and what I'll do is I'll mix that in with the brown. I haven't cleaned my brush or anything else. But this is going to be a very fine highlight, all right? And then literally just start just dry brushing this all over. Like that. Okay. And then once I've done that, I'll come back and show you the, uh, the effect. So I'll catch you in a second. Right guys, so as you can see, we've got like a really nice like dark brown uh, stone, uh, but with like a really nice sandy highlight. Um, now, this stuff is almost the same colour as what I, uh, what I uh, as, as that colour, it's almost the same. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this colour all over the sand area now, which don't be scared because like, I know that is the same the, the highlight of this is going to be the same as this, but this is only the base colour for the sand. We're going to go right up to a very, very pale cream. Uh, so that's the separation, you see. So I'll get, we'll dry brush uh, this all over the sand. Okay. I'll just show you me doing that so you can see what it starts to look like. Literally, guys, be generous with this dry brush. Um, as in, literally, a couple of coats, really, if you need to, with the dry brush. In. Right, so the next colour I use is it's like an ivory colour from the works okay uh, it's not white uh, but it's, it's off white it's ivory okay uh, i'm still using the brush that we're using before um so i haven't cleaned it yet so that colour that's on the brush and everything really helps now this is a a light dry brush so you, i don't think you'll have to really put your brush in some more paint again on a model this size we're just catching most of the, the the rest of the highlights really okay so i'll do this one all over i don't think this will show much up on camera right now all the sand's done and completely finished now what i'm going to do is i'm literally going to put a very water that the same wash but i'm just going to spread it right out and all this is to do just is to get rid of the the harshness of the dry brushing so, i'll get this done i'll let it dry uh, and then I'll put some brambles and some uh, grass tufts and everything on it. And then I'll show you it completely finished at the end, guys. So, see you in a sec. Right, guys. Um, so that's the set all done. Uh, I'm really happy with how it's turned out. Um, the sand, I'm going to try a yellower um, attempt next time. Um, but I'm happy with how the look. Uh, it's a nice, aridy set. Uh, like I said, I've put some tufts on, put some nice, um, all I've done is I've got some uh, lich, uh, lichen, 
and then I just sprayed it with some brown paint and then a, a cream paint from above just to highlight it and I stuck that on with hot glue and I put loads of tufts on all the way around so you can see how they look but yeah really happy with how it's turned out to say it's my first time doing this type of terrain um, and it's just it's going to be a nice uh, board to play on hopefully uh, but I will do a showcase of the whole um, the whole boards when they're completely finished. So that's how I do it. Um, I've had a lot of people, I mean, when I was trying to find out how to do this sort of style and this sort of look of terrain, a lot of people tell me I had to use pigment powders. I had to use like spray wash bottles to achieve the sandstone look. And yeah, maybe I would if I wanted a realistic finish. Um, but what I want is easy and simple. Uh, so I don't have to think about what I'm doing and I think I've found a nice medium um, and a piece like that on your table you're not going to be upset with that are you it's better than an upturned uh, polystyrene dish with a bit of green flock on in it so um, that's what I'm about guys as in finding an easier way and I think that's the easiest way of doing it um, if you want to know how to build the cork hills uh using the bark and the foam i have got videos so just go through my videos and you'll be able to find that one um so if you like what i'm doing like share subscribe guys uh, if there's anything you want to know or chat to me personally i've got luke's aps hangouts and discussions on facebook and there's not just me there's an, a plethora of people now um just coming together and sharing ideas and there's some bloody good terrain people on there better than me <laughs> so if you're going to learn anything that's where you're going to learn it uh, so guys, thanks for tuning in. If you like what I'm doing with these series of videos, let me know in the comments below. Catch you in a bit.